good morning. Um, so today I'm gonna do a DIY on how I do my menu planning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you guys actually really playing? No. But... Oh. You can do it. No, wrong place. No, it's not broken. Just put it in. Put it in. Oh, oh here he goes. Here it goes, Mom. Yay! There goes the comforter. It's okay. It's washable. Oh, it's about to fall off the stick. Oh gosh! <laughs> there goes the popsicle. Okay, good. That's over. But I hey guys. So today I wanted to show you about how I cook for my family um, every week and what I do to get ready to cook for them. I actually made myself this menu planning board because um, we are actually a vegetarian family. I've been a vegetarian for over 20 years. And sometimes I'll have um, people visiting, you know, like I think I made this board when my aunt was going to visit and she herself is not a vegetarian and I wanted to make it so that she would know, you know, she could pick the meals that we were going to make that week. You did? Okay, so I made it. It's all cute. Like, you know, I just, all I did was I went to Ben Franklin and I found little um, things to make scrapbooking, you know, and, and then I got clothespins and I found scrapbooking paper and I just cut it out and I would put um, standing for, this is all my lunches, sun, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and these are all my dinners for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Say, Christina, that you were gonna stay with me this week. Okay, okay. okay. And, um, and you wanna pick out seven lunches. Okay. These little tags, that I keep so this was a these are little crayon boxes I covered them with the paper from the scrapbooking and then the, all the leftover paper I just cut little pieces out and then on the computer I went down and thought of every single meal possible I did this with my and then we put one as a category for lunches and one as a category for dinners oh that's cool so all I do is I just pin them up so then I, you just love it because let me tell you, when you go to make dinner or or lunch that day, it just your life makes life easier. So easy. This seems so awesome so far. Are you are you liking this? Yeah. I I wouldn't let Christina look until she filmed this with me. <laughs> I totally I'm want like, to Don't go. Don't look, and I'm going to show you <laughs> what this is, so that you can be like the viewers and be like, oh, <laughs> this is really going to work. So you just close pin those all in. And then we're gonna go to dinners. Stuffed pumpkin. Um, that was so fun. April brought me stuffed pumpkins. The two after I had the baby, April bought, brought me meals for lunch and dinner every single day. She would bring it, and so and I would just stay in bed with the baby, and she would bring like the lunch and dinner at lunchtime. Oh, she's so and awesome. And she brought me stuffed pumpkins. It was so good. She's so awesome. Thank you, April. I love you. <laughs> And then eggplant parmesan, mock chicken a la king. Oh, I have the stuff for mock chicken a la king. There you go. You That's it. No, no, king? I haven't. There you go. You better come to dinner that night. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I'll tell you the rest of them. Nori salad, spaghetti, um, spaghettini. That's fun. And eggplant parmesan. So you try to figure out from what you have in your fridge already. Yes. Yeah, well you, okay. So while I was picking this, did you see how I said, mm -hmm. oh, scalloped potatoes, I have potatoes. Yeah. Veggie burgers, I have you already all have the that stuff in for there. veggie burgers. So you want to do that when you're picking out your meals, right? So this is like your main meal, you like make us maybe a salad or something with it, some veggies for the kids Yeah, and stuff. exactly. This okay, is what cool. you're going to go around. The kids love this because at dinner time, they always take the, <laughs> what we're having for dinner, they take it off the clip. Yeah. So at, Oh, perfect. Okay, so here you have it. That is what your menu looks like for the week and so once you have your menu for the week 
all you need to do is go through and like say you know some people will do this all off of recipes I've been cooking for my family for 16 years these meals are like staple meals I know that's crazy that I have 40 staple meals but you know <laughs> whatever it is that if you want to do cookbooks that you have but you just get I have my pen and paper that I just keep in this little section right here and I and this is also chalkboard this was actually um, something to hold a recipe book and that's what I made it out of and so what I do is I just go through my things and I see Greek salad okay I know that I have cucumbers I have tomatoes I I need black olives so I'll go and I'll write black olives any of those recipes that you would like to know then just comment below and ask me and I will um, you know make a video of it or re respond to you you know one of the two so oh that's awesome would that would that be good yeah, yeah that'd be great yeah, yeah. So, so you can ask me on my... I know. I'd be like, hey, you can make you your tell Benedict. Me how to, yes, yeah, I want to be... Tof yeah, yeah so I want to know. Benedict. Yeah, I want to learn how to make you that. You guys want to know the tofu Benedict, Yeah, it right? is delicious. Yes. So I'll do a video on the tofu Benedict. So I can do that the day that I'm cooking it. So, so you have your grocery list. So now, with your grocery list, you go buy all your groceries. And you have the food. And you it. have all the food in the fridge for the whole rest of the That's week good. for what you're going to meet do. Hi, Bonanda. Did Papa put that diaper on? Look at that. Look, can I just show you guys that? Look at that. Look. <laughs> Somebody's a little cheeky. Honey. Tomorrow I'm going to make shepherd's pie at lunchtime. And that may be a leftover, say. So so I don't need to make a meal um, on oh, Sunday. You have like, yeah. So then say it's shepherd's pie and I made it on Sunday. I put it away. Then, my, then Sunday comes comes along. And I'm like, oh, I don't need to make the Greek salad. So you just, you still have the ingredients for it. So what I do is I move it to down the oh, list. Oh, that's smart. So that when I re-do mm -hmm. my grocery list, mm -hmm. I'll see that that this is here. Yeah. And I don't need to do that again. So it's still on the list. I just move it down. Okay, okay. I just move it to a day. That you can make it another that, day. That I can still make it again soon. Gotcha. So it was a very simple thing that makes it your makes life a lot easier. A lot easier. You can save money and you can cook healthy meals at home yeah. instead of eating out. And go ahead and save yeah, it. And even if you're a sing single person at home, are you not thinking, Christina? Yeah. Because I'm like, could... it can just do like four meals. That's my my lunches. You know, when I meal prep on Sundays, I can just do that. Yeah. Make your own. Make yeah. Your own. And yeah. then you can even just put sandwich, soup. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and maybe make yourself three like or four a... soup. Things, yeah, that so way I have all my meals for the week, and I can just go in the fridge and grab it. It's so easy. So easy. Yeah. And then, and you'll still have done your shopping, but your shopping will cost, you know, a lot $45, less. Five dollars. <laughs> or mine's four hundred and forty-five. <laughs> so it's true. It's true. So yeah. So that's my menu planning board. I hope you guys liked it and were able to draw something from this that will really help you guys simplify your lives and um, make it so you can cook for yourself or um, those those around you um or maybe you want to give this to somebody else so they can cook for you i don't know how you want to do it but <laughs> oh that'd be cool if someone cook for you <laughs> i'll just come to your house and eat here's some money <laughs> yeah so, but not every single person can come to my house so but, but christina you're always welcome so thank you very much for watching and have an awesome night for but you yourself you're like misorganized yeah so. i like to be organized yeah. yeah so it works out well Good. Oh, Thank I'm so you. glad. Thank you for filming it. Yeah, I appreciate no it so much. What for dinner tonight? Veggie burgers. Well, you don't have a choice. Hey. It's on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was a really good point. Don't you think about um, what I was saying about when my aunt came to visit? We yeah, literally they did know, this. Yeah, because they know, like, hey, these are the meals they can make. Okay, this sounds similar to what I normally eat. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I can make a new tags, you know, if she's like, oh, can we make this? And then it's all there. And wow. she knew what we were eating all week. And you know, imagine she she goes from totally is that a carnivore? Like yeah, carnivore. somebody. A, yeah. She went from being a total carnivore to living with me for three weeks. You yeah, know, and you like know. not eating any meat. Yeah. And so this made it so. And she at the end of her trip, she just was like, I just loved the way we ate, and she just felt really good about it. Because it it's wasn't, welcoming, you know. So, it is. Yeah. It was, and it wasn't stressful. Hi, and there's the little ones ruining their dinner. <laughs>